Get this, right? I'm just sitting in the cell lot waiting. And this is a new one. I don't think I've seen the, the front mount plate, but with the vertical mount completely perpendicular to how it should be. Uh, I guess style points? I mean, it's still there. A cop can't be mad. They just gotta tilt their head completely sideways in order to read it. Welcome back to another vlog. We have returned from the chaotic gold rush rally and we're back here at home base. Some of you guys have been wondering how long am I gonna keep this whole look on the car and I'm kind of thinking about running it all the way through the summer until mid-August when we take it down to Monterey Car Week because I think that'll be a sight to see and it'll fit in because there'll be a lot of other Gold Rush cars that'll make a return back to Monterey and it'll once again be with its family. Today we're gonna go meet up with all the local friends of mine. They haven't seen the car ever since Gold Rush put all their sponsors all over it. So maybe get some of their reactions on there. We also have to pick up someone from the airport tonight. We got some things on the agenda. As always, I'm taking you guys with, like the video and go peep out some of the latest Harlequin themed merch. So I'm once again working with Omaze to give you guys a chance to win a 2022 McLaren GT, all while supporting great things like the Make-A-Wish Foundation. You guys can let me know in the comments down below what you guys would do if you guys won a McLaren GT. I would probably do a really cool build on it because honestly, I haven't seen that many around. Most people haven't really touched them. And I think they're honestly not that bad looking cars. You got 200 miles an hour. It's a six figure ride. With your guys' entries, you guys can support the Make-A-Wish Foundation Foundation, which grants wishes to kids with critical illnesses. You guys also help raise funds for the Charities Aid Foundation of America. But with all that kept in mind, for your guys' chance to win a 2022 McLaren GT, you guys could click the link in the description or right here, go to omaze.com slash jackultra. Donations support the amazing work of Make-A-Wish. So if you guys have been keeping up with the Gold Rush Rally Road Trip Series, which if you haven't, you totally should. At the very end of it, you would know that we did did get pulled over. In fact, framed for speeding by another Silverado just completely blowing past me. And of course, she's gonna pull over the multicolored Audi R8. No blame there. But giving an update on that situation, I am fighting that ticket and hopefully we will get it dismissed because we clearly weren't the ones doing 103 in that scenario as seen on the dash cam footage. And clearly there was another car that was flying by much quicker that their KA must have tracked down. So that's the update on that. And I'm sure I'll let you guys know as soon as we we do get a dismissal confirmation either on Instagram or on the next YouTube video. What do you think? Does it look better with all the sponsors? I mean, you look like a cooler guy for sure. <laughs> I look like a cooler guy. <laughs> it looks more race car. It almost like actually distracts from the original whole Harlequin simplicity of all the multicolors. It definitely but. distracts, but it's like, if you know, it's like, holy shit, this dude just... <laughs> Dude, it's so funny. Like, I have so many random Gold Rush sponsors. I have the nightclub that we partied at. No way. At the, so, so, Zook right there, that's in Las Vegas. <laughs> it's like right across from where we were. You got Car Ninja, you got... We have 1016, and we have no 1016 parts. We actually have their competitors, all full Vorsteiner aero on the I Audi. I sponsor you now. I mean, you're on their car. Yeah. Do you like it more or less with the... Yeah, this looks way better with all the Gold Rush <laughs> Let's go. Before it was like, okay, goofy guy, cool man. <laughs> Cl clown shoes, yeah, man. clown guy. Yeah. And now it's like, okay, now it fucking fits. Yeah. <laughs> we're little at Car Week seeing all these, like, damn, but now you're that guy. So that's Dude, yeah, well, yeah, we're, I think I think I'll rock it till Car Week. I'll be sick. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll be those guys. <laughs> that, like, opening pop of release. I love that. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> We're hanging out with all the German cars today. Dude, all, all the Euro boys. Oh, and the Miata. Can't, can't forget the Miata.
Is there any color that is like different for you? Cause you're colorblind I don't on know, the multicolors? I, I, I don't know what to compare it to. Well, it's like, it's like different shades for me. And uh, cause I don't have like a severe colorblindness, um, but it's just like, I can tell it just, it's not fucking orange and it's probably red. Cause it's just, you can tell it's just a darker tone. Yeah. Like but but your eyes almost want to think it's orange on the red part. But usually it's either orange or brown that they end up looking like. Uh huh. Well, I mean you've you've been first time dark. experience of me calling cars <laughs> wrong colors. That's true. That's so. true. We gotta get this boy the freaking the color blind glasses, and he'll have a whole new outlook at the the multicolor Harlequin look right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, <laughs> you know what? At least it's not in my carpet. Dude, that's so lucky. <laughs> that almost looks on purpose. That's like a perfect oil compartment yeah, for the oil to I've just like lay oh, itself oh outside God. of the tub. Kind of sucks it's ass. I got all in that. I mean, bro, considering that your thing leaked, like it could be so much worse. <sighs> you have a perfect compartment for that. <laughs> so now he it's literally plastic. like it's indented so that you can spill, and it's plastic. And it's, it's not. Plastic. It is. Yeah. And now, and now, and now, bro, everyone just, bro, calm down. It's just, it's just a minor trunk oil leak. Oh, oh oil now, guys. Guys, it's just the time to make fun of oh. Brandon. Everyone gets really excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a BMW moment, even though it wasn't even the BMW this time. Honestly, I didn't leak no. too much. <laughs> this dude's gonna dump out his oil spill. <laughs> you literally took out the compartment from the Dude, M3. That was so lucky at that moment. He's going. He's going to the the lavatory. No one will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> he like feels so guilty right now. Don't touch parts of your E46 on a random toilet. Yeah, I don't know if I want to. Oh, Him like that too much more. Hey yo, yo, what is he doing over there? He's pumping up my balls. Oh, you're just pumping the ball. Oh, yes. I thought you were doing something else with your hand oh, down no, there no, for no, a second. No. Dude, this makes more psi than my car right now. <laughs> Don't seven, run. Seven to nine. That's not bad. Damn, is your car? Not paying attention. Cars must be dead. It is. <laughs> Catch me with that forge bottom end though. That's you roll up in the Volkswagen, I roll up in the Volkswagen. All the way to the details. No way. Dude. <laughs> yeah, we down badging up in here. Oh, dude, that's what's up. But I yeah. Know, you and me, I'm just yeah. no badge now. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. just not non-existent car. Pull the stamp off it? It's yeah, the I DLC car before you unlock it. Exactly, yeah. But yeah, no, in the in the mid-90s, like, on golfs and po they actually, like, made them out of factory, like, with all these different Dude, colors. Wild. The so they the became, like, a collector's thing, and then other people would, like, recreate it, so... Good. I thought I would do the same. That looks sweet, man. It looks so good. Thank all you. All that time I spent learning color theory <laughs> <laughs> It's only like water bottle for size. It's no, like, no, water bottle fits perfectly right here. See? <laughs> Dude, Bro, Jesus. that's such a cool feature. Right? Exterior water. He said, yeah. he said that as if he's done it before. What? Yeah. Oh, he definitely has done yeah. it before. What? what? That Bro, that's, that's, uh, that's okay. so perfect. <laughs> Here, does this one fit? Uh, you can put it in the other side. Yeah, in the trunk. Fits all sides. <laughs> and, and, <we're> <laughs> blue. and mine's blue. Dude, that's so convenient. <laughs> it has resonators and a muffler. It's like jump scare loud. 
it's actually <laughs> kind of awful, but... <laughs> so. I have to purposely jump scare, like, after, yeah. It's it has the jump scare, too. I, it shot massive fireballs on the freeway. Okay. Yeah, like, does it come out the back? Fireball. We've been out all day, and it is literally midnight right now. It's pretty dang late at night, but someone is coming in from the airport, and it is my duty to pick them up. Now, we still have the R8 here, clearly, so I think you guys already know it's time for an ultramotive tradition, an airport pickup in not your standard airport pickup car. Even if an Audi R8 happens to be your standard airport pickup car, this is definitely not your standard Audi R8 just based on the looks of it on the outside, so we definitely might make a... Uh, just a little bit of a scene. First time seeing it like this. Yeah. What do you think? I like it. I mean, the colors pop a lot more impressive. Yeah. Cooler than Aventador S. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, nah, get out of here. Yeah, it's off the first time. Not yeah. Before, like anything. Is it gonna close? Is it gonna? Nah, dude. Easy. Dude, easy. We were like, literally, like, pushing our pressure point of the front when we were on the rally, but like, dude, duffel bags, no problem. <laughs> Oh, do you need me to unlock it? Maybe. <laughs> the car is just like extra safe. It's like the car will always auto lock. It's it's got to make sure the person is authorized to enter it and is uh, certified. Why does it let you in? Put me in sport mode. You think you think the airport police are gonna care? Uh, I don't know. I'm guessing you're about to find out. There's only one way to find out, right? <laughs> <laughs> At least they want to open up the door this time. Yeah, my doors aren't as cool as Lambo doors, so they're easy to figure out. Do you notice that's so much louder? Yeah. We've brought it back. Shout out to those of you that remember the OG airport pickup with the Aventador S when Haley first came back, like, is that two, two years ago? Yeah, two years ago from college. She's still in college, so I'm gonna still be picking her up in, I guess, flamboyant cars that she'll never expect. This one isn't as expensive as an Aventador, but it definitely is almost more flashy just by the look of it. But the craziest thing that she just realized is that she's wearing the exact same outfit as that day two years ago. The leggings and then the UC Davis in a sweater like what are the odds of that that's so funny yeah it's really like a throwback to that original the, the og airport pickup that has wrong too. yeah exactly oh you didn't you didn't know where to find the uh the window switches in the aventador no, I did not. The you, you know where to find them on this car though right yeah, they're, they're like here. yeah see this car is just it's not as fun as a lambo like even though you know it, it's got some lambo pedigree it's it's just nowhere near it doesn't have quirky window switches and doors that are impossible to figure out how to make them go up so this car is it's just it's not as it's not as entertaining i gotta i gotta invest in in the bigger v12 someday and we can make all the airport pickups Funniest Audi things I've seen in a long time. These guys clown car packing. Oh, we are just in the RS5, bro. <laughs> there's a clown car right in front of you, dude. What? You guys should just clown well, car a in there. That's up there. It's Yo, a beat up bus. You're to drive me back. I'm, I'll take a ride. <laughs> <laughs> bro, four deep. Have you ever gone five? Hop in. You, you, guys, <laughs> I'll trade you, you gotta go five deep for the RS5. Uh, we barely have a middle seat. <laughs> nah, it's all good. That's funny. Well, I'm gonna send these soldiers off. They're going on a have a great night. On a nice fun journey, four deep. 